Hi, everybody. Most collectivists will twist themselves in a pretzel to avoid admitting the evils of communism, knowing full well how despicable the murderous communist movements of the 20th century were. They have no such problem with fascism, which, despite their attempts to relabel as a right-wing movement, is clearly another unholy version of the collectivist big state system. But when the topic is communism, these idiots simply cannot admit the thing was not just a miserable failure, but downright evil. Oh, they will tell you that they know it was bad, but there will always be a but to justify doing more of the same. Some will say that the problem was that it wasn't real communism or some such nonsense. Others will say that it wasn't done by the right people. But every once in a while, you will have some that let their guard down and tell you that they just really love that totalitarian evil shit like that idiot Jesse Meyerson did over at Salon.com with that communist cock-fluffing job titled When You're Wrong About Communism, Seven Huge Misconceptions About It and Capitalism. Let me stress that about the only thing people can get wrong about communism is how dehumanizing evil and downright despicable it is and this author takes the prize for that a typical idiot liberal fashion this moronic piece basically tries and fails miserably to justify the murder of over 100 million people and the imprisonment of billions and all in less than a century by making the absolutely ludicrous and stupendously ridiculous claim that communism's reign of intimidation, abuse, and murder, a philosophy based on robbing humans of dignity while pretending to do the inverse, should be overlooked because the other side does it too. Even worse to me is the fact that the moron that wrote this piece is trying to argue that the violence and abuses of communism are okay because the crony capitalism system that the left thrives off and is hell bent on growing is the same is the very name of the social justice they pretend can only flourish under such evil and tyrannical systems as communism is bad it shows a fundamentally flawed conception of the reality of how things work the answer to the honest criticism of a collectivist system that murdered 100 million people and imprisoned billions is to contrast it with another collectivist system run by other assholes that under the pretense of trying to address the ills of society and usher in social justice have created a dysfunctional society where government through coercion or outright force picks the winners and losers, and then pretend there is an equivalence that should give communism a pass. That makes so much sense. The most ludicrous part of the article, however, is that the uh, right people were not in charge argument that the author makes when he tries to pretend that an American communist system wouldn't be like that in the Soviet Union or China, maybe has missed the massive abuses by the current administration, which for all intent and purposes can be labeled the most dogmatically communist-friendly one in the history of this nation. Does he really believe that people like this, when given absolute power, wouldn't do the same, if not worse? What? He figures that scumbags like Obama and Holder when given absolute power, like the leadership of a communist system would inherently get, suddenly would stop abusing said power, which they have been doing nonstop for the last five years. And I still believe in Santa Claus and Mickey Mouse too. But the telling point is that made in the seventh misconception where he, yet again, tries to pretend that the crony capitalist 
system set up by his communism-loving fellow travelers is inherently unfair because it doesn't really foster individualism. This whole piece of garbage of an article smacks of another rewrite. The left was able to pretend communism was less evil during the time. They had everyone convinced fascism, another collectivist disease, was a right-wing creation. Now that we have finally cleared up that misconception and pointed out fascism was just the other side of the collectivist coin, they lost that shield to hide behind. And they then, in desperation, have started grasping at straws. It looks like the new tactic is to help give communism some semblance of legitimacy by making a comparison between communism and the despicable crony capitalist system that the communism loving shitbags that think the government should be in the business of picking winners and losers have straddled us with. This desperate attempt to provide cover for communism smacks of the tactics currently used by these very same people that are trying to force us in the U.S. to accept the government-run system they want by destroying the existing health care system and claiming that justifies their intent. Supporters of communism have corrupted our society and economic system by giving government the power to pick the winners and losers, then point out the deficiencies of that system they created to justify the most murderous and evil curse ever foisted on humanity, communism. Apologists for communism are fucking vile, and we should treat them as such. The left is still enamored of this plague that struck humanity over the last century, and if we do not remain vigilant and roll back their work, we will soon find ourselves living under it or variants of it before we know it. Collectivism beyond the family circle can only produce tyrannical and abused systems. That's the fact we must keep in mind. So another person's opinion about communism and fascism, and I've really noticed a lot of red and blue, red and blue, red and blue. So in the United States, you basically only had two choices. You didn't really know it, fascism or communism. And this time around, they want to bring in communism. And since it's a collectivist type of a government, you're not going to be able to have any private property. And that is a fact. So thank you so much for watching uh, this video and I'll po post a link below. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, subscribe, share it, join me on social networks. Links are on my front channel page.